Welcome to another episode of the Bathtub Winemaking Project by Wine Decoded for Vintage 2016. It's now about, oh, let's see, 12 days in uh, after the grapes have been picked and crushed and the ferments have almost finished, so they're almost dry. We've already pressed the whole bunch ferment and we've got these two tubs left that have basically been treated exactly the same. They've got crushed fruit in them and they've both got a stalk tea bag in them. So this morning when we tasted the wines and gave them a bit of a plunge, I uh, had a look at a composite blend of all of the components in proportion just to see how things were looking. We thought it's about time those tea bags come out. There's still potentially another day on skins for this particular ferment. The one at the back will probably macerate post fermentation for a little while and see how that goes. But we don't want any more of the stalk tannins, the stalk flavours to come out into these wines. They're starting to note just an edge of hardness and an edge of bitterness. From experience we know that will soften off over time as the wine matures in barrel and we go through the process of élevage or bringing it up over the next 18 months or so. So we're not too worried about that. But we think it's about a good time to pull those out and get rid of them. So we're, we're about to go through that process. We're going to grab a tea bag, the biggest tea bag you have ever seen, and uh, start uh, to extract those stalks for you. So first things first, we'll just uh, dig in here and find it. It's somewhere in here. There it is. Got him. So, let's see, it might be a two hand kind of thing here. Okay, so just wrapped in some muslin. Whoa! You can see this giant tea bag, stalk tea bag, a couple of cable ties there holding it together. Um, some of the pros use stainless steel for doing this, but uh, we've got our, uh, <laughs> our ghetto solution once again. Five dollars of muslin and, uh, and a couple of cable ties. We'll run that muslin through a wash and uh, make a nice tie-dye t-shirt out of it. Um, but yeah, so now now is the time to uh, get this out of here. And try and uh, use a tip. Save all the liquid from it. I'll try and get that to drain a bit. Oh. And I'll open it up and get rid of the stalks. Uh, <laughs> God, that's heavy. I forgot how heavy these things were since last, <laughs> last year. So we'll just continue to drain off that liquid. You can see the big bulb over there and crack it open and get rid of the stalks. I've got two of those to do. But just to give you a look at what was in there, we'll uh, snip open the uh, muslin and uh, show you what's going on. In here, you can see these stalks all stained with red wine that have just been soaking in there for that whole time, for that whole ferment. So we'll uh, we'll compost these now with the rest of the skins, and uh, and it'll all be uh, going back into the uh, the garden to to grow something else. Happy days. So we'll see you on the next episode of the Wine Decoded Bathtub Winemaking Project for 2016. Ciao for now, onto the stalks.